What is going on guys, Evo here, and today we are starting our brand new adventure on ASA. I'm really freaking excited for this. It should be a ton of fun. And as you can see, we've already created our character here. I think it looks pretty good, pretty normal, which is what I like to go with. Uh, but you can do a ton of things when it comes to character customization. There's a lot of different options here and uh, you can get some weird abominations going. Like if we press the randomize button, you can see things get uh, very strange. Like look at those neck muscles. Not sure how I feel about that. We got like giants and super short people. Um, so yeah, the character customization is definitely passable. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just load our preset real quick. There we go. We're back to normal. And we're just going to jump straight in, I think. Let's go ahead and click create. And where do we want to spawn? I think I want to spawn maybe... Ooh, do we want to do like a medium zone? Maybe we just start with an easy. We'll go all the way to the right. And then do it. Bond. Are you the one I've been waiting for? You might be. I hope so. It's been so many cycles since I was her. Do I even still remember hope? I wasn't sure you'd ever turn up. The odds just kept getting longer. I guess I've been losing faith. While well, they've been gaining power. You have to reach me. Everything depends on your survival. Master this world. Make allies of its many creatures. Grow your strength and skill. Explore this place like I did so long ago. Put the pieces together and find me, survivor. You may be the only one who can. Okay, cool little cutscene there. And I'm assuming we're going to be loading in now. Here we go. I absolutely love the way this game looks. Very beautiful. A nice little beach to start. Okay, we're in. Now let's go ahead and start getting the basics. We'll grab some stone. We have done this many, many times. Uh, I also want to grab some fiber. Grab all the fiber in the world. Can we not grab these bushes here? These ferns? Is that not actual bush? Doesn't seem like it. That's okay. That parasaur is running, which is kind of intimidating. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh my goodness. Just relax, man. What are you doing? Oh, there's a Dillo! That's like my number one enemy. But it's chasing... Oh, no, it's chasing me now. No, I don't want to deal with that right off the bat. So, I believe the rates on the server are straight up vanilla. Except for taming, which is 2.5. That's a fair Xenosaur. Oh, oh, I hear raptors. Okay. Um. This is, uh, this is not a good start. Not a good start at all. How is this easy? How are we in an easy zone? When everything wants to eat me. Okay, we're gonna need some... Bam? What I really need to do is find... A trike. And... We're dead. I was hoping I can get the raptor to attack the trike. No. Uh, let's go here. Not a great start. I think we spawned literally right next to where we were. That doesn't really make sense. But the raptor is on the trike, so we could just move down the beach in this direction and hopefully be safe. That trike is also attacking a raptor. There's a dillo right in front of me. Oh, come on. Is this how we're starting the new game? Dillos and raptors. It feels just like the good old days. 
Let's uh let's grab a little bit of this. A little bit of fiber. And we'll grab some more over here. Punch a tree, get some rocks, maybe make some actual progress. I don't like that that parasaur is coming over. What are you doing, parasaur? You just coming over to my side of the beach? I'd appreciate if you didn't do that. Grab some stone. Three stone should be good enough. And we can go ahead and make our first tool, right? Oh no, we need 10 thatch. Oh my goodness. Okay. I didn't realize it was so much. I feel like a big noob. All right, did we get a little bit of wood here? I just need one wood. I'm not seeing any wood. Still no wood? Okay. We're not gonna get any wood, are we? Just not gonna be a thing. Yes, we got a wood. Holy moly. Never thought we were gonna get it. Uh, what do we wanna start pumping? That wise. I feel like weight at the start is probably a good idea. Got a couple levels there. Get that going. Uh, maybe a campfire. And we can leave the cloth armor for the moment. Let's make uh, one of these when we can. Okay, we can't just yet. Gotta get some flint. Gotta get some stone. This feels so good. The game feels great. It's running pretty well. Um, unfortunately, you are going to need kind of a high-end PC to play this. And I'm not sure how it's going to run on console because it's not out on console yet. Which is unfortunate. I kind of wish they uh, released them at the same time. But it is what it is. Can't do much about that. Oh! There's a little baby raptor? Can I do anything with you no you're just running away that's uh that's a great change that they made little babies wandering the little uh island like that appreciate that it's kind of scaring me though because i don't know where the mother is hopefully we don't get attacked out of the blue another parasaur running by all right let's grab some wood here a little bit of you. A little bit more. The trees falling over looks great. Grab some more flint. Oh, we got metal from that. Okay. Get some more stone. And we should be able to make a spear now. Maybe make a couple of those and get a campfire going. Uh, can we make one more spear? I feel like three is a good number. That way we can throw a couple of them. But also have a backup, just in case. Uh, let's grab you. Throw you on the bar. And we'll pump another level into weight. Now, are there any dodos on the beach? Uh, let's get rid of our little death message over there shows exactly where we died which is another great change no longer are you looking for a stupid beam in the sky just shows you what direction your body is and you can just run on over and grab your stuff i'm not seeing oh there's a dodo we got one here go ahead and throw a spear at your face need your hide and we'll go ahead and grab you now only six hide not great we need a little bit more than that is there another guy on the beach another dodo uh we got a pig mole here what level are you level 11 uh could we kill you i don't actually know Let's try. Because this would be great hide. Uh, okay, we missed. We're not good at this. Let's try this one more time. My crosshair is gone as well. Oh my goodness, you turned. This is embarrassing. 
I feel embarrassed right now. Okay, we're in need of water, which we can grab. Let's get in here. We'll have to do this in the actual water, which is not amazing. Let's watch our stab. Okay, we've killed it. And we can't drag it because we'd be overweight. Good to know. I do like that it tells us now. We get a lot more information, and information is always good. Okay, let's swim back. Let's get some stab, and then we can get the rest of the hide. We can also cook up some meat. I do like meat. There's a Therizino over there. I don't think we have to worry about that too much. Lay down so our stamina regens faster. Head back out. And there we go. We got the rest of it. So how are we looking? What kind of resources do we got? We got 47 hide. Beautiful. So let's throw you there. We're hungry. Um, throw you onto our bar. And then just place you there. Light fire. Another great change is it actually shows how much fuel you have. Or how long the fuel is going to last. So we got 3 minutes and 24 seconds of fire to go here. Really like that. We can throw a bunch of meat in there. Although we should probably be saving some of it. So we can start making spoiled meat. That could be a thing. For uh, narcotic and tranks down the line. Yeah, are we going to cook this uh, meat? Is that going to be a thing? We got one meat. I'll take it. Guess we're just going to do a little waiting game here until this meat is cooked up. I really have no idea where I want to build on this map. I feel like there's going to be so many new base locations. Because they've kind of changed the terrain a little bit. It's going to be familiar, but they've uh, kind of added and messed around with some of it. So, so it should be a lot of fun exploring the island. Can't wait. I really can't. Uh, let's just grab maybe a couple more meat here. All right, I think we got enough meat for the moment. Go ahead and grab all that stuff. And I think I'm going to pick up the campfire as well so we don't have to craft another one later. It just makes sense. And let's head in this direction. All the way over here. See if we can find a little interesting spot to maybe set up a base camp. Because it is nice having all the little dodos around here. There's like a little baby dodo. You're so small, sir. You're so small. Look at you. Oh, there's another little baby dodo here. Um, So something that's kind of interesting. You can actually kill the adult, which I believe is this one. So if we go ahead and spear you in the face. Just like that. Now we can imprint on the babies and get a free dodo. And then it's just going to grow up and do its thing. So you don't actually need to like knock out and tame it. Uh, we don't have like a lot of berries. There are some new berries in the game as well. And these are used to create dyes, I believe, and maybe a couple other things. Not too sure yet, but we'll play around with that. Oh, we need more berries. We need so many berries. We're just going to get a dodo for no reason, but it'll be fun to have, I'm sure. It's a white one, which I do like. Okay, there you go. More berries. Is that going to be enough for you? It wants care in 20 minutes. It's going to be grown before that, sir. So I don't understand why it's like that. The settings probably need a little bit of work. We'll just keep throwing berries into you. There you go. You're growing up so fast and we're so proud of you. You're doing great. You're absolutely amazing. I guess this thing won't be super bad to just tame up right now. Because we are going to need its eggs or kibble. So that will definitely be a thing. I want to do so much breeding and so much taming in this series. I'm, uh, I'm really excited. I've got a lot of big plans. 
I also want to do a bunch of building. Not really a surprise there. I do like to build. You guys know that. And have we tamed you? Oh, we have. Level four. You're fully grown. Look at you. Our first tame. We can go ahead and pick you up. Like we would normally be able to. And uh, yeah, you look great, sir. You're a great dodo. Huge fan. Okay, we're just walking along the beach with our dodo. I don't see anything too scary. Never mind. There's two raptors there mauling something. And there's also a carno. All right, we're going back this way. Maybe we set up base camp right here. Because I feel like if we go any further into the forest or that direction or back in that one, we're going to run into carnivores. And I don't really want to deal with that. Not really a thing that I need in my life. Let's go ahead and throw you down for the moment. And actually, you know what? You've got new AI, so we're just going to leave you on follow. And hopefully you don't get lost or stuck on anything. We're going to pump another level into. And what kind of engrams can we do here? What do we want? We could probably get a storage box and a mortar and pestle. We'll do a couple of that. And that. And do we want a wall? Sure, we'll get a wall. We get a door, and we don't have enough engram points to get anything else currently. But that's fine. Not a big deal. Not even a little bit. Grab some more fiber here. Because we are going to need a bunch. I would like to get, like, a, a rideable dino soon. Because it would be nice for gathering all the berries that we're going to need for making narcotic and trank arrows. But we'll probably have to wait on that for the moment. Let's get four thatch foundations. Oh, Parasaur, please don't just run past me like that. I'm really just waiting for a raptor to come and eat my face. I'm going to be very sad if it happens. But I am expecting it. We're in very tall grass at the moment. Which I'm not sure how I feel about that. Can we, like, hide in the grass? Oh, yeah. We can hide quite well. That's, uh... That's pretty good. You can just see the dodo moving through the grass. I love that it moves. The grass moving. Big fan of that. Absolutely massive. It's a nice little touch. I think I'm just gonna go... And maybe build right on the beach. Right here. Seems like a nice flat area. Pretty safe. And it is becoming nighttime. Which they've changed nighttime. It's no longer pitch black. Can't see anything. So you're still going to be able to operate at night without any lights or gamma. Which I'm honestly so excited about. I really don't like using gamma. It was useful. But if we don't need to, then uh, I'm happy. I'm very, very happy. You can also snap to the middle of your foundations now with any building piece, which is pretty cool, but you can also disable that. You can just place it wherever you want. The dodo's still following me. You haven't gotten stuck. You're navigating quite well. Very proud. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the fire there. And then we can go and throw some wood in you. And the nice guy is looking pretty good, except for the vibrating clowns on my right and left. Not sure why that's a thing. But it still looks nice. There's also, like, new sound effects for most of this stuff. Which I do like. Okay, we're hungry. Let's go ahead and eat a little bit of meat. And we've got four minutes on the spoil timer. Can we craft anything else? Maybe we can do a couple walls. I feel like we crafted a storage box. Maybe I'm wrong on that. We might have just crafted thatch foundations. Get a wall. Uh, let's get four walls, maybe. Probably more than that. I think we're going to need eight in total to uh, kind of close off our little hut here. Which we can definitely do. Uh, so the cool thing about the walls now is it's actually like the doorways. There isn't a 
second like building piece that you need you can just kind of use the one wall to craft anything you want when it comes to like a wall based structure so one we've got the thatch wall two we've got the thatch short doorway and then three we've got the normal thatch doorway and then four we've got the thatch window wall so we could do maybe a doorway here like that do the short doorway i think that looks nice and then maybe we do a window here and then normal walls just like so then do another one here how's that looking that's looking nice looking very nice Ooh, it's kind of like uh foggy almost with like the cloud going down there i do like that nighttime looks beautiful absolutely amazing i feel like i'm saying that a lot i feel like everything is beautiful it looks great but it does it really does and it excites me i feel like this is the upgrade arc needed and hopefully they can uh, optimize it properly in the future here. So we can get more people playing and enjoying without all the crashes and stutters and frame rates. Because I know that's been kind of a problem. But I'm sure they're going to work on it. Because when Ark, like the original Ark released, it was, uh, it was unplayable, I would say. And they did a great job with that. So fingers are crossed that things get better. All right, so we just need a couple more walls here and potentially a doorway with some stairs so we don't have like this weird lip. Although we can just kind of walk up it without too much trouble. But I would like it to look nice. Uh, is that a fiber? This is a fiber. Okay, just a very tall bush. And then I think we're just gonna need some thatch and we should be golden. Oh, this is a little tree. It didn't look like a little tree. It looked like one of the tall bushes again, but it wasn't. They're trying to trick me. And we'll just grab the smidge more that we want. Beautiful. Okay. Our meat has also spoiled, which is great. Uh, we can go ahead and make a couple more thatch walls here. Uh, do we need... I feel like we crafted too many. Oh, no. We need three. Okay. My math is correct. I'm always afraid of doing math because I'm not super intelligent. But we counted and we were correct. We just throw you there and then I think I want to do another window here. We'll just press R and we'll make you a normal wall. Okay. I like that. Looking decent. Uh, we can also make a door. So let's just do that. And what do we need to make a ceiling? Well, we need to unlock it. And we also need to unlock the thatch roof and stairs. There are now thatch stairs, which is uh, very exciting. Big, big fan of that. Uh, let's throw you on the bar. And boom, we've got a door. Beautiful. Can we make the stairs? Uh, we need a little bit more fiber. So let's grab that up. I can't wait until we get a sickle or a creature that can actually farm fiber. It's one of those resources that you kind of need all the time at the beginning, but never have enough of. I guess that's kind of every resource, but you guys understand what I'm saying. Oh my goodness, look at that green tower in the distance. That looks so good. I love that. Absolutely love that. And then we can go ahead and throw on our ceiling. Just like so. And wait, we can flip our ceiling? Oh. Okay, that's a cool change. You can flip pieces. I didn't think you were going to be able to do that for the ceiling. You used to be able to do that with walls. And I'm assuming you still can. We can actually just pick this up and take a quick look at that. Because I wasn't super focused on flipping them. Yeah, you can do it with the walls. 
but you can also do it with the ceilings. That's a great little change. I appreciate that. And let's go ahead and put the stairs down. Let's actually see what the ceiling looks like. Or the, uh, the sloped roof. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks how I would expect it to look. Pick you back up. And change you to stairs. And the stairs look really nice. Kind of got, like, that bamboo vibe going on. And we can just walk straight into our home, close the door, and we're here. We've done it. And you know what, guys? I think that is the perfect place to end off the first episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, remember to smash that like button. And remember to subscribe as well, because it seriously helps me out. It really does. There's going to be lots more to come. I've got so many plans for ASA. And uh, I'm super freaking excited. Have a good one. See ya.